Hey, what up, fam? This is Eddie04, and today is not a Q&A video day, but some of the members from the community have been asking how to actually play Naruto Ninja's Turn 4 with a gamepad and a keyboard. So, we're gonna just go ahead and cut to the chase. All right, so uh, the main reason why I'm doing this is because obviously, as I mentioned before, a couple of uh, viewers from the community asked if you could actually play uh, Nurture Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 with a game controller as well as a keyboard at the same time. So we're just going to quickly go ahead and confirm that we actually have the PlayStation 4 controller connected to our computer and it works with Nurture Ninja Storm 4. I'm just going to go ahead and right click here. I'm going to go to Browse Local Files. I'm going to run my Xbox controller emulator um, as an administrator. And uh, here is the X360 control emulator loaded. And as you can see, I have my PS4 controller and it's still responding. And I have it set up to the X input 9 underscore 1 underscore 0. So this is pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and load my game. The game itself. Now, as you know, I am currently using my PlayStation 4 controller. I'm going to quickly uh, press triangle for options. Yes, it actually said triangle. And I'm going to go for my control settings. Now, as you can see here, my control settings, I have a couple of setups here where it says zero, I mean, circle, X, triangle, and square. So from here, what I want to do is exit out of here. And now I'm going to go ahead and press my share button so I can see my keyboard bindings. Now here we can see which are backspace, enter, up, down, and so on. I'm going to press X on my controller. I'm going to go to versus battle, and then I'm going to make sure to switch this over from one player versus computer to one player versus second player. Settings complete. Now when I'm right here loading on the screen, as you can see here, it says press option on the device you want to use. In this case, for me, that will be an enter on my keyboard. And now I can choose with my keyboard. I don't know all the key bindings, but if I press zero, that is supposed to be a, I mean, if I press O, that's supposed to be a triangle. So I'm gonna randomly choose any character here and then I'm gonna press triangle over here. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so now we can see that we are currently using our PS4 controller to fight. And if I switch over to my keyboard, I can move also my character. And if I'm not mistaken, oh, okay. Probably I, I can also set this up the other way. I can also exit to this point and then I can enter into the game. Go to free battle. <laughs> so I need the L. Press option in my PS4 controller.
And there you got it. If you're interested in adding your PS4 bugs into your Naruto Ninja Storm 4 game, then check out the video up here. For more awesome videos at AO4 TV, then check here. Hope you like the video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a brand new video. This is Eddie 4 see you on the next one.